architectural design, when you start doing your formal drawings, you'll always start with a site plan. So here's the site plan, and there's the proposed building, and um, this one was approved by um, WIPA District Council. So you can't just build anything. You have to get submit your plans to the council for approval. So what this site plan does, it shows you where the um, proposed new dwelling will be. Dwelling is just a word they use for a house. So, and this house is on a farm, so there's a septic tank here with the overflow going there. That's what that shows. And um, there's always building regulations. So in town, it might be different, but on rural areas, so from the boundary, you have to be more than 10 meters away, and that's what this shows. So this will be the plan that the builder will grab when they start laying out the foundation. That shows the section, and it shows um, existing access with vehicles. So that's our first plan. Here's just a lot of notes that um, just I have a little bit of extra that so people can see. See, they talk here about this uh, septic tank, um, stormwater, um, power, phone. So there's the power and phone connection. That's just a guide so that you can watch it out. And north is quite important in buildings. You want all your windows on the north side, and that's what this part shows. So that will be my site plan. Then um, after the site plan, I'll just have a little um, floor plan again. And here I've put down a retention tank, but that's basically just the water tank that's going to... So this house will get, because it's rural, there's no connection to town water. It will get rainwater from the roof that will be um, kept in this tank until you use it in the house. Okay, so... Um, this just gives you a bit more, but it's not a lot of measurement, but this will give you all the plumbing. Now you can see that the bathroom, the laundry and the kitchen are all in the same wall. That saves you a lot of money because you don't have to have pipes all over the house. So your pipes will just go through there. You'll have a, um, one side of the wall and everything goes then down to the septic tank. And this will be your water inlet into the house from your rainwater tank. Then this plan only shows so um, the customer wanted extra decks to this. So that's just the plans. That's the normal house plans with the windows, sliding doors, ranch sliders, windows there. And this is important as well to show how your doors open. So that this door will open to the inside. These are cupboard doors that will open because you have to remember you lose that floor space. You can't put a fixture in there because the door needs to open there the same year, the same day. Now, if you look at this plan, you have to be able to read plans. So you can see, yes, um, that's probably the two bedrooms. There's the bathroom. Yes, a laundry. That will be the back door. Yes, an open plan set up because here's our kitchen with a nice breakfast bar part there. And this will be your living area. Okay, so then the next one will be all our measurements. Now, this is a total of 70 square meters. Um. So they worked out these dimensions. If you times this by that, it will be um, 70 square meters. And it gives you each room's dimensions as well. So you see they left. So, um, so they left that space there for the walls, which is 100 normally for outside walls. And that's the total. So when you put your measurements, it's always the small measurements and then the total at the end of that. Here it says the floor is 70 square meters. Um, they talked about the um, hot water cylinder. You can have electric hot water cylinder or gas. Um, safety glass to window the wet areas. That's the bathroom and near the kitchen. Um, wet area floors to be vinyl. So the bathroom, the laundry and the kitchen will be vinyl floors. And um, they also showed the, where they're going to put the smoke alarm. So there's one day, one day. You're not going to put a smoke alarm right above your stove. Because that will just go off the whole time you cook something. And that circle there, that's the hot water cupboard. So that's where your hot water cylinder is. Personally, I prefer gas. Because a gas um, hot water cylinder will be just located outside with your gas bottles there maybe. And then you can have that space for something else. So gas might have been better. That block there is for the fridge. So you'll have your sink, your stove, your breakfast bar there. There's your... Um, Laundry machine, your top there for that, and your back entrance and your front entrance to the house. These will also show you the ranch sliders, how they open. There, those are windows. 
I don't like this because it's double glazing. I would have shown this like this because double glazing has got two lines because you've got two bits of glass, but they've shown it like this in this case. And they also labeled everything, bathroom, bedroom one, bedroom two, um, laundry, kitchen, dining room, and living room. So um, this is all the measurements that you need. So you always have to remember about the wall space. Sometimes people forget about putting that measurements down. I'll put this on a document as well. So if we say yours is not allowed to be bigger than 70 square meters, you have to use this measurement. You can copy these measurements. And they've also put the scale there. So this is drawn in 1 to 50. Then the next part will be more information. So that 17.5 is the degrees that your roof go up. And here we've got some info on our um, foundation. If it was only the piles, that will sunk into the ground, but the foundation gives it extra strength. What I like to do as well with this is you show it as little dots. That shows, and then concrete have little triangles and dots in it. That represents the metal in the concrete. And then here it just shows your floor, the insulation, that little honeycomb there is the insulation. Today with building code, they didn't show the insulation here on the bottom, but you are not allowed to build if you don't have any insulation in the floor and the walls and the sides and double glazing. So all houses that's been built um, nowadays will have all of this. Now here they've got all, all extra um, notes as well for the builder. So they talked about the color steel roofing. You probably heard color steel ads on the TV a lot. Um, and talk about the purlins, um, the trusses, um, fascia, the fascia is just there and the, that little ceiling on the outside and all that. So extra notes that you can't communicate in a drawing needs to be on the side. And there's the roof pitch that I talked about, 17.5 degrees. Um, they, they also considered the environment. So they, the wind zone is quite high and the section is flat. That's important information. So you don't have to do a lot of work on the section and stuff like that um, because it's a flat section. Now this is just other information about the corners. So if you, each corner of my house, um, will I have this detail in it? So that's extra technical detail. So they've shown these two plates there and it's got to be nailed together. And um, then that's the weatherboard that's going to be nailed on there. So this just finish off your corners quite nice because if you don't have these boards and your one weatherboard ends there and the other weatherboard ends there, you're going to have that gap. So it just gives you a good indication. And this is on the outside on the top of the wall. So you can see my weatherboards there at the angle. And then that's going to finish that off instead of leaving that open. So this is just um, kind of a aesthetic thing. So it, it and it stops maybe dust and birds going in there, making nest on it as well. So this is more technical information. And this is important, all your elevations. So there's my eastern elevation, western elevation, southern and northern elevation. And it shows you um, all the detail that you need to know. So there's the deck with steps onto the deck. Those roof straps, um, you do that on the walls as well. That just gives it extra strength. So when they put down the trusses, they've had little metal straps that they put on there. And yes, also again, they talk about all the materials. So exterior cladding, hardies, 240 smooth weatherboard. Um, the roofing is color steel cor corrugated. And exterior joint is double glazed aluminium. So they talk about the windows. Um, the fascia, that's the top bit there and um, the soffit side is so if you're gonna so, um, commission plans from an architect or somebody i think these your elevations because that's you have to see oh is that all that i wanted and a floor plan like this is really important you need to know is this what you asked the architect that you asked him for the two bedroom house that you want the open plan living area that you um think of different parts as well so um you guys have to be able to read. If I give you these plans, you have to be able to read the plans and know what's going on here on these plans. So I'm just quickly going to recap everything. So site plan, that's your first plan. Then just the plan of the place itself with extra amenities like the um, septic tank and water. So if this was in town and there was water, you'll just show where your connection with the water is. Um, then... This is just adding the decks and showing you the doors. And on the elevation side, um, that's extra detail of your insulation. And then on the elevation, I want to show you guys these 
triangles there shows how the window is open. So if the triangle is like that, your window, if I look at the wall from the side, your window opens like this. But if your triangles um, like on this door is like that, that means the door opens to the outside. So if you're... 